For step one, we need to create a username called BizHub. Click on the start button in the lower left hand corner. Right click on computer. Select manage from the pop up menu. Now click on the plus to the left of local users and groups to expand it. If you did not see local users and groups as an option, then you probably have Windows XP Home Edition and this step will not be necessary. Right click on users, select new user, we're going to type in bizhub, B-I-Z-H-U-B, and we're going to give it a password of exclamation point, uppercase P, A-S-S-W-O-R-D, exclamation point. Put it in the second box to confirm. Now uncheck the first box, user must change password. Check the two middle boxes, user cannot change password and password never expires. Now click create. Select users. Right click on BizHub and go to properties. Click on the member of tab, select users, and click remove. Now click OK and close that window. That's the end of step one. For step two, we need to create a folder named MyScans. Go to start at the bottom left hand corner of the screen select computer for step two we need to create a folder called my scans if you do not have my computer on the desktop go to the start menu select my computer double click local disk C right click in the white space highlight new select folder and give that folder a name of my scans. I'm doing it in all lowercase. Doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase, just make sure that you are consistent. Now right click on that folder and go to properties. Now click on the sharing tab at the top. Click share this folder. Now we're gonna go to the permissions button. If you do not have a permissions button or a security tab at the top, then you probably have simple file sharing turned on and a username and password is not required for scanning. So let's click on permissions. We're going to click add. Now make sure under locations that we're just adding under the computer. So click OK. Now we're going to type B I Z H U B. Press enter. Now it adds BizHub to the list. We're going to give BizHub full control. Hit apply and OK. Now do the same thing under the security tab at the top. Hit add. It is looking in the computer. Type B I Z H U B. Press enter. Let's give BizHub full control and press OK. The last step we want to do is right click on the folder, highlight send to, and click desktop create shortcut. Now close that window, and now we have successfully created a shortcut to my scans folder and a my scans folder in order to scan to, and that completes step two. For step three, we need to create a one touch on the copier in order to scan to the folder that we just created. The first thing we need to do is get the IP address of the copier. So go down to your start button, go to printers and faxes. This might be a little different on Windows Vista or Windows 7, but it's pretty much the same idea. Um, you might have to go to control panel and then go to printers 
And once you find your printers, we're just going to right click and go to properties. It'll be called um, printer properties in Windows Vista N7. And we're going to go to the ports tab at the top. Click and drag between port and description. And now we see that the port is 192.168.1.66. Let's go ahead and write that down. Now click cancel. Close that window. And now we're going to open up our internet browser. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. Um, you can use Firefox, Google Chrome, any browser that you choose to use is fine. Uh, so open up your browser. Now we're going to type in the IP address. Let's erase that. And let's type in 192.168.1.66 and press enter. If you ever get um, an HTTP error or a um, error 400, I believe it is, um, probably are going to have to download Firefox. Internet Explorer sometimes has some issues and doesn't want to browse to our machines. That being said, we're just going to click on the scan tab at the top. And then all these blocks are basically different tabs on the machine. And within the tab, we have um, three down and five across. That's 15 buttons that we can program. And to give that tab a name, just type it in here. You can type scan, hit apply. You see that gets transferred up here. And then we're going to program the first button. And we want to select uh, TX uh, PC SMB and select next. The one touch name is just going to be my first name. You can name it Office 1, Computer 2, name it whatever you want to. It's just a description so you'll know what it is. And we could use the IP address if we had static IP. The best way to do this is by host name. And to get the host name of your computer, we're going to go to Start, right click on my computer and go to properties and then go to the computer name tab at the top and we're gonna highlight and right click copy the full computer name if this said virtual xp 566 blah 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 dot workgroup dot local or something we would only want the first part before the dot we never want that dot and we don't want anything after it so go ahead and paste that into the host name box. And if it's something simple like Jared's PC, we could have just typed it out. Um, I copied it since it was some numbers and a dash. One thing we do have to change is these are lowercase letters. Even if these are lowercase, we need to make them uppercase. And if you don't do this, it may work just fine. But later on, sometime down the road, it's going to quit scanning and you're not going to know why. This must be in uppercase just, you know, as a preventative measure to keep from having any problems in the future. Okay, now the file path is going to be my scans in all lowercase, just like the folder we created earlier. The username is bizhub, B-I-Z-H-U-B. Passwords, exclamation point, uppercase B, A S S W O R D, exclamation point. And type it in the second box to confirm. Now, file type is set to multi page TIFF. Most people are just going to want a PDF, so we're going to change that to PDF. Um, that's personal preference, whatever you want to set it to. Go ahead and click apply. and now we've created a one touch named Jared now we can close this window and if we go to the copier that button will appear on the fax scan screen and we can test that out and if we did everything right it'll appear in this folder shortcut to my scans and that's the end of step three